What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I want to welcome you to the game update for November 2015. Now, this is probably going to be one of the biggest game updates of the year. Not necessarily with the amount of games that are coming out. I mean, there are quite a few, but with the volume and sheer, like, unbelievableness that people have been waiting for, if that makes any sense. Uh, there's been a lot of hype on a lot of these games, and a lot of people are waiting for them. November is going to be a fun month, let me tell you that. And I'm excited, and I can't wait to get started. First, though, let's just talk about what's going on. Um, like usual, all my normal series will continue to upload until they are finished. So for those of you who are wondering where certain games are, they'll just get, you know, whenever I can find a moment to squeeze them into the schedule, they'll get squeezed into the schedule. But anyway, let's officially go over what's coming out. Coming out the third, so only in a couple of days, we have uh, Need for Speed Deluxe. And, uh, well, I, I'm getting the Deluxe Edition, so I should have rephrased that. Um... I'll be doing that on PS4. Uh, the deluxe edition comes with a bunch of performance part, part like perks. Um, I think visual perks as well, and it also comes with the uh, the E46, the BMW E46 M3. That was actually it looks exactly the same as the one from the 2005 Most Wanted. So the first Most Wanted that came out, that car was unbelievable, and that's a starter car. So I decided to get that. It was only a few extra bucks on the regular edition. I figured why not? The performance boost would be nice as well. So we're going with that guy. All right, also on uh, the 6th, so the Friday, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, now, here's the thing. I'll either be getting it on PC or PS4. Um, I do have a contact with Activision. They are sending me a copy, but uh, they always kind of seem to send it really late, so I end up getting the copy like either midday of release or the day after. Uh, however, this time... Because it released on a Friday and not a Tuesday, I shouldn't have to worry about any weekend jargon. So hopefully they'll be able to send it to me early. If not, and, and I get it late after like a launch, I'm going to go with PC. Okay, that's normal. Like the thing is, those guys, they only give out uh, console copies. They don't, they don't send digital codes. They give it to you physically, which is kind of weird. Um, but that is what it is. So if not, I'll just be getting it on PC and giving it to you guys like whenever it comes out. Usually they release games on Steam like the night before at like 10 o'clock p.m. my time. So... What, or it's basically like midnight Eastern time. That's when they unlock the game for you. Anyway, uh, moving on. Now, those are the start, the start of the, the, the month here. The biggest month or the biggest day of the year for sure. We have a three-game release, and it's a big one. It's a doozy, okay? Now, this is the big boy, the one everyone's been waiting for, the one I've been waiting for for seven years, maybe more. <laughs> long, long time. Fallout 4. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows Fallout 4. And for some bizarre reason, everyone asks me and assumes I'm not doing it. Are you doing Fallout 4? Why on earth would I not do Fallout 4? I played Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas for the channel. I, I, I greatly love the Fallout series, so it's pretty standard that I'll be doing uh, Fallout 4. Now, here's a couple of things. I have been in touch with Bethesda. And uh, they do, they do want to work with me. Uh, however, uh, they can't guarantee a copy until we get closer to release. So we are getting closer to the re release. So I'll have to shoot them an email pretty soon just to make sure all is on board. And if I can, if they could hook me up with a PC copy, they should. They said it shouldn't be an issue, but they don't want to make any promises. And then all of a sudden, if something happens and they can't do it, so chances are I'll be able to get that game early as well, which is fantastic. So I'll be able to bring Fallout 4 to you guys earlier than normal. Regardless though, I have the Pip-Boy edition pre-ordered. Yes, I managed to get a pre-order for the Pip-Boy edition. It's sold out so fast and everyone's like, Dan, you're not gonna be able to get it. It's already sold out. Aha. But the thing was, I live in Canada. So our pre-orders came a little bit later. And because I'm a Platinum Edge member at EB Games or whatever, they give me first dibs. So I immediately went online, five bucks, boom, sent it to my normal store. And there you have it. All I gotta do is pick up it, pick it, pick it up in my store. And we're good to go. I can't wait. Like, honestly, as a Fallout fan, that thing is awesome. I really just want that for the sake of having it. So even if I get the early copy, uh, I'm still going to go out and get the collector's edition just so I can unbox it for you guys. Because I don't think too many people will be able to do that because it's so rare. Not many people were able to, I mean, it sold out so fast. So I managed to get one, and I'm psyched about that. So Fallout 4, that's going to take up a ton of my time. I'm probably going to play it in the next year. Do all the DLCs for it. 
all that kind of fun stuff. I'm sure everyone's going to be pretty excited for that. So I hope you guys will tune in. To answer everybody's question, I'm doing Fallout 4. All right, cool. So next item on the agenda, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rider. Rise of the Tomb Raider, excuse me. Xbox One exclusive for the time being. Uh, it's a paid timed exclusive. I don't know how long it'll take before it comes out on PC, PS4. Probably sometime next year. Uh, that's what I would assume. Thing about that, it does come out the 10th. However, I already have a copy in my possession. Microsoft has sent me a copy. And they're like, yo, Dan, here you go. Go ahead and play it. However, there are a couple of things that make it kind of niche or kind of not really niche, but it's got a very, very strict uh, non-disclosure agreement on it. Um, so I can post gameplay. They said I can post gameplay on the 3rd. Um, but there is a big problem with that. Um, it, it's basically like a preview. Now, unlike Halo 3 where I was... Or sorry, Halo 3. Halo 5 where I was allowed to post uh, the first three missions in their entirety, cutscenes included. This one I am not. I'm not allowed to post the cutscenes. I can only post certain sections of gameplay it's very very strict very very strict so what i think i'm gonna do is do the let's play like normal that can go up on the 9th so it doesn't go up on the 10th it can go up on midnight or something on the 9th uh all cutscenes are allowed that's when the review embargo ends however this preview embargo it's like i said very strict i might just record all this all this gameplay like I would normally and then do a bit of a compilation and take the footage I'm allowed and put it in one big video and kind of a let's play preview so to speak so you guys can kind of see some game gameplay ahead of time um, if that's something you guys would like me to do still awesome if not you'd rather just wait want me to wait till I can release the full thing like I said it's not I'm not doing an either or kind of a situation like if I do the preview I'm still doing the let's play like regular like I'm still gonna upload it full cutscenes full everything no need to worry about that but um, just keep in mind that it would just be a preview section. A lot of gameplay, no cutscenes whatsoever, so you wouldn't know the story mode, but you get to see some gameplay. So that's all it would be is like a Let's Play preview on top of the Let's Play that would come out on the 9th, okay? So just keep that in mind. Also coming out the 10th, and I really, really wish they released this earlier in the year just to save everybody some space, you know what I mean? But um, they're going to sell it like hotcakes anyway, but I'll be doing it because I'm a huge fan of this series. StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void, the third expansion pack for StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty is finally coming out. I played the first game back in 2010, StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty. Then they did uh, Heart of the Swarm. That came out in, I believe, 2012. That sounds about right, 2012. I remember I was at my old place when I played that. So 2015, we get to play as Protoss, and that's awesome. I'm going to be playing the campaign mode, the story mode. I've always loved my StarCraft games. I was around when the original StarCraft came out. And I was a heavy gamer back then. Like, I mean, I was heavy into StarCraft with all my friends. Seven-year-old Dan playing StarCraft, beasting and feasting. I was so good at the damn game, man. It was crazy. So, I'm ready for this. I'm excited. Um, hopefully, you guys will tune in for that. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, we have a lot of games coming out. So, keep that in mind. It's going to be really crazy. And, yeah. So, I just want everybody to know, if you're wondering, like, damn, oh, we want more of this game, more of this game. You have to understand, there's so many games to be doing, to be done, sorry, that I'm not going to be able to post everything as frequent. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be able to post, like, three videos of this, three videos of this, three videos of this, three videos of this. All the games I'm doing in one day. It's just not going to happen. For example, WWE 2K16. I'm playing as much of that as I can. But, I'm going to take a couple off days and record other games. You know what I mean? Because I got a bunch of new stuff going on. And, while I'm not going to quit the game, but... It's just that in gaming season, you have to like put some on the side and then go back to them next day, you know, take a day off of that and play this game instead. That's how this happens in gaming season, but I'm sure you guys already know that. But for those who don't, don't, don't worry if you stop seeing your game and it's like out of the normal schedule, you know what I mean? Uh, it'll come back. It, it just temporary, you know, I'm going to focus on another game, get the new stuff up and then go back as well. But it'll be a nice little trade off. You see what I mean? Okay. And finally, the final game coming out this month is Star Wars Battlefront. Now, you guys already know I'm excited for this. I played the alpha and the beta. Um, EA has been sending me copies. They've been wanting me to uh, cover the game, say, you know, check, show you guys some footage, um, or show footage for you guys. <laughs> and uh, this one is no exception, obviously. I'll probably be getting an advanced code. I don't know exactly when, uh, when that'll happen. I would assume I'll be getting it 
obviously before the 17th, I'll have gameplay probably before the 17th. I'm assuming they'll let, that's what they'll want me to do as a preview. Now, because it's an online only game, it's just going to be a bunch of games. Like that's all it's going to be is a bunch of multiplayer. I am going to have a lot of fun with it. I wish it did have a campaign, but this way I can kind of take my time with it. You know, just play a bunch of uh, game types and then move on because there were so many game types in the beta that I want to check, but it was restricted due to the beta. But this time I'll be able to go from various matches, various areas, and play the living hell out of it, get better. And I think it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Obviously, that'll be on PC as well, so I hope you guys tune in that. So, in terms of November, that is November. That's all we have. Uh, I know that's like... It's, actually, there aren't as many games as usual in, for November. I mean, there's about five of them, but the thing is, this is what they are. They're so close together that it just makes it kind of insane. So, um, like I said, you'll have to bear with me. These games will probably bleed into December, and then they'll go into January, especially Fallout 4, uh, maybe even StarCraft 2. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, StarCraft uh, will be a little bit quicker. I I'll, like I said, I'll be sort. I always sort my my games by mission, my videos by mission, and uh, or or chapter or or whatever. You know what I mean. Fallout 4 is going to be a little different because it's open world, so I'll probably just do that by like 30 minute parts, maybe longer. We'll see what people want. And yeah, so that's going to be what's on the agenda. Really excited. I'm actually going to get to start. I'm getting started right away here to start recording Rise of the Tomb Raider right now. That way I can get a head start of it and maybe finish the game before the other games come out. And then bam, I don't have to worry about that. I can just post content as soon as I can. You know what I mean? Whenever I can and get that game uploaded for you guys. You know what I mean? So I hope this list looks good to you guys. I hope you're excited. I am super excited. I cannot wait to play these games. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a great month. And then December, we're going to have a couple extra titles as well. But we'll get into that for the next game update in a month from now. But yeah, year's coming to a close, guys. It's getting pretty crazy. So I'm excited as hell. I hope you guys are well, are as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, favorite it as well. Any questions, concerns, whatever, anything you want to let me know, hit me up in the comments below and I'll check those out. New to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Got plenty of gameplay. As you can see, this is only for November. Keep that in mind. I do game updates every month just to showcase what games I'm doing in that particular month. You know what I mean? So it doesn't mean... I'm not doing a game that I, because that's coming out like a year from now or something. You know what I mean? It's all that's going on so you guys can stay in the know and, you know, keep up to date on what DanQ8000 is doing and what is going on on my channel. So, Team 8000, thank you very much. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. And we'll be seeing you guys in plenty more gameplay. All right? We'll see you then. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8000, wait a minute. Hold that style. style. Damn. Damn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat I hear them sirens, sea shots flying So we driving fire back If they ain't vibing, lie with that Got me dressed up in all black What up? Hood up and I see them haters Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox to you damn fools? Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do so tune into that day and kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.